In this video, we will be starting about the infrastructure and development. How the infrastructure has helped in the development of the economy. So, number one is your infrastructure. impacts productivity now see there are three sectors in the economy we're talking about the development so the primary sector secondary sector and the tertiary sector right. earlier what was the problem that the farmers do not have a permanent means of irrigation now due to infrastructure what has happened hyv seeds irrigation techniques have increased which has helped to increase the productivity which is a help to increase the agriculture Produce so output which was uh, earlier produced has increased due to the infrastructure development Then if I talk about secondary sector the industrial sector there is increase in the sources of energy Like uh, electricity Petroleum Coal etc so what uh, these sources of energy or these infrastructure development of electricity has done it has helped the industrial sector to improve the productivity earlier they used to produce less but due to these the high level of production is possible tertiary sector so let's take an example of tourism in this Transport, your waterways, railways, airways and communication has helped to increase the tertiary sector, it has helped to develop the tertiary sector like education. Due to education only you get various services like your banking services, then broking, then uh, uh, broker services all these services are given due to the high knowledge of skills and education that has been imparted so infrastructure development has helped to increase the productivity in the economy second is infrastructure induces investment see earlier there was less investment in the industrial sector, in the secondary sector. Can you think anyone would invest in the coal industry or the steel industry if there is no facility of transportation or there is no facility of mining or taking out the coal from the core of the earth? If there are no facilities of communication, do anyone will invest in these uh, steel or iron or steel industry? So infrastructure, with the development of infrastructure, it has increased investment. Increased the investment. So investment increase means more productivity. More productivity means more output. More income. And more economic growth. Infrastructure generates linkages in production. See, a developed means of transport and communication, ample sources of energy, and a system of banking and finance generate an environment of Inter-industrial linkages. It is a situation when expansion of one energy 
is facilitated due to the expansion of other so linkages in production refers to a situation when expansion of one industry facilitates the expansion of other industries let's suppose the industry of iron and steel have helped in the expansion of industry of automobiles because iron and steel is used in these industry so if there is expansion of iron and steel industries it has also helped in the expansion of automobile so this is create a linkage between the various connected industries fourth infrastructure enhances size of the market now earlier the goods used to be produced only for india but now the goods can be transported to the rest of the world so india can export its goods due to the development of infrastructure that is airways or waterways so it has expanded the market of india it has increased or enhanced the size of the market of india so in this way it has helped in the economic growth for the india infrastructure enhances ability to work see now infrastructure is giving good uh, you know buildings to sit and do your work infrastructure is giving you roads to travel from one place to another so it has increased the ability to work if the person or the human capital of the country will work more they will earn more they'll earn more means there is good and there is increase in the economic growth of the country it's so educational institution healthcare centers and similarly other facilities promote skill formation and ability to work for the people sixth is your infrastructure facilitates outsourcing a country having a strong system of infrastructure emerges as a destination of outsourcing so india is emerging as a global destination for call center study center medical transport uh, transcriptions and other services like banking finance accounting so this is due to the greater infrastructure in the economy due to the high and strong system of infrastructure again if there is investment there will be more output more income uh, more people will be employed if there are more companies that are open in the country there will be more income earned by the people more income earned by the people will gen uh, generate the more economic growth of the country and the country will develop infrastructure infuses fdi means foreign direct investment foreign direct investment means the foreign companies are coming to the home country and investing in the home country why would the companies will come to india if india do not have roads uh, proper buildings proper uh, electricity so fdi foreign countries are coming in india just because india has a strong infrastructure india has all the facilities that are required for the foreign companies so india is again inducing the foreign direct investment foreign companies are coming in investing in india thus it is improving infrastructure more thus it is also adding to the economic growth and development of the country So I hope you like our video. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.